Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome. It's do that again. <laughs> it's Liv. And it's D. Oh, start talking like Reese. No. It's D. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. If you're new, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't mind us. Um mm -hmm. Today's video is entitled My Girlfriend Worships the Devil by the Hodge Twins. She's a keeper. Let's check it out. So your girl worships the devil. <laughs> Man, you better run. Shut up! Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Fuck out the way. Run, man. The girl worships the devil, man. That table is nice. The chair is you nice. See it? The girl be worshiping the devil. Title. What does she worship the devil, man? Does she be like <laughs> sacrificing chickens and shit? And... <laughs> Title of this email. That'd be crazy. You come home from work, right? <laughs> Girls at the at the house. You come home with a damn bloody Pentagon on the wall. And there's about three dead chickens. That then you you then know, hey, it's time to move on. <laughs> I the shit is getting crazy up in here. I have been dating this girl for five months and we are getting to know each other better. She is really cute and funny and she's very spontaneous. Mm -hmm. Um, everything was going well until one night she spent the night at my house where we had sex for the first time. I noticed she had a pentagram tattooed on her back. It's something I didn't care about at the time because we were both into the balls deep action. Okay. Well, he, you know when he noticed it? He was she's done. Doggy style, man. Yeah. yeah. He's like, what's, what's that? What the what? What's that? What's that on her back? What the hell? <laughs> pentagram. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna run out. Oh. Anyway, um, gotta cut that out. Don't forget, bitch. I know she had a pentagram tattoo on her back or something. I didn't care about the time because we was having some balls deep action. Mm -hmm. I forgot about it at the time. <laughs> what? I forgot about it, and time went by, and I caught her reading some kind of cult book. So. I questioned her about it. She admitted to me that she worshipped the devil and that she's been trying to hide it from me. She, man, she, you know what she was reading that damn book? She's probably yes. going to chop your ass up. She you admitted to me That's that she worshipped the devil and that she's been trying to hide it from me. She also plays the oogie, oogie board. Oogie. It's oogie board. It's oogie board, right? Oogie. The oogie. This kind of freaked me out because I was raised in the Catholic home and although I'm not religious, I do believe in God. Okay. So you believe in God, you just don't give a fuck. What? He said he's, um, <laughs> this kind of freaked me out because I was raised in a Catholic home. And although I'm not religious, I do believe in God. That's right. You, you just don't go to church, man. He's taking some time off from God. But he believes him. Yeah. Um, ever since I found out about this, I am not attracted to her anymore because I fear that shit. I don't want to okay. continue this relationship further because I look forward down in life and I know it would be a huge conflict seeing as how my family since they are religious. What are your thoughts about this situation? I want to break up with her the lightest way possible as I can so that she doesn't summon any demons on my ass <laughs> or whatever. What do you guys think and what would you do? Look, man, first thing you need to do, you need to ask God for forgiveness. Bow down to God. And he only says matrimony. God like that. And you praise God, God for everything he is, right? <laughs> because God loves you and wants you. Right? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now, this damn heathen, devil-ass, devil worshiper, this girl, if you don't play your cards right, this girl will chop your fucking shit up and sacrifice your ass. Nice. Take Just your damn her. blood She's and draw a pentagon wrong. on your damn wall. Right? That's what type of sacrifices I'm Pentagon. talking about. Pentagon. Yeah, he kept saying Pentagon. Pentagon. Pentagram, Pentagon. Y'all know what the fuck I'm saying. No. Right? This girl's crazy. This girl was the devil. And if anybody knows the devil, the devil ain't no damn good. Devil is no good at all. But God. God? God is high. God is beautiful. What the hell is you talking about, man? I'm appreciating this, man. Need man, go get the hell up off me. You need to go back down there to the church with the family and accept God as your savior. 
Look here, man. That's what you do. Amen, brother. Praise God. God. Look here, man. Just talk to the girl. Yeah. Sure. Clarify. So now look. I need some clarification on some things. I'm being serious here. What kind of devil worship are you? You sacrifice chickens, pigs, what? You're a devil worshiper. Or you are you being serious? Or you're a devil worshiper? And just tell them point blank. Why didn't he so ask I'm not me trying to piss you off. After you because I don't want no damn devil worshiper. Oh, I don't need no damn demon showing up my house trying to steal my damn soul. <laughs> yeah, get, just get on that level with it and say, look, yeah. I don't want to be around, I don't want to have a relationship with a devil worshiper, a devil worshiper, because I don't like that kind of crowd that follows that. Yeah. She going to come to your damn house one of these days, man. She going to show up unannounced, right? She going to come inside your house. She going to have black rings around her eyes. Her damn head going to do a full 360 about four or five times, right? And, then, and she going to start screaming some god awful noise, right? Everything in your house can start floating. Then there, that's when you know shit is serious. <laughs> so you better tell us, look, we don't see eye to eye. You be fucking around with Lucifer. I'm with God. Me and God are good. We, we hang. You hang out with Lucifer. God and devil don't get along, so I got to part where you see you. Yeah, so I just don't, just get on that level with the side. I'm not, I just don't like the kind of crowd yeah. that follows, that's the devil worshipers. I just, yeah. I can't sleep at night. I mean, yeah. I might pit, one of y'all might just decide to sacrifice my ass like yeah, a the, damn goat or something. The walls are superb. The walls is good, but I just can't. You're a good girl. You, I like you, but you, you worship the devil, and you know we just don't see eye to eye. That's God. how you approach it. Yeah. No. The, the wrong, the worst thing you can do is stop returning her calls yeah. and doing this and that. Don't do that. Oh, she will be casting some spells on your ass because ain't yeah. nothing like a damn woman scorned. Yeah, just get on that level, have that conversation with her. Yeah, you better not come out that sideways, man. Tell me you better repent, bitch, and all this. Yeah. Don't even, she ain't trying to hear none of that shit. That bitch will put a hex on your ass, man. Right? And so Emily, she yeah. um, she has she wasn't taking. What do you think? Um, as far as how he should approach her to let her know he doesn't want to date her. He should have said that long ago. It's right as soon as he found Once out. she get attached and he tried to bounce. I mean, five months is not long, but it's still a long time That's for a female. That's a long time he for a female. He was getting sweet walls from the devil. Well, he didn't even notice until he saw it on her back. Back so, shots. Back shots tell it all. And the fact that she had to hide it. I don't know. Damn. Tell Does us what you think. It? Let us know in the comment section below. Adios. Watching. See you next time. Bye.